there and black bright finally got a different laptop so hopefully the image is a bit clearer now um, I'm a vlogger and I discuss different types of topics some of them controversial and today's is a controversial topic and I decided to start it with a very short poem Harry and Meghan what have you done You've brought out the racism because of your son. I would have thought that because he was of royal blood, he would have been rewarded respect that only a royal should. But this child of the crown gets no respect, no adoration, because he is black. So I'm starting off the um, video with that short poem. Um, then, um, of course... We have to kind of go a little bit into the history as to why um, the reaction is like this. I think that I don't know if Harry really understood the implications of bringing about an interracial child into the world, first of all. I think because there is the um, perception that when a black person and a white person get together, it's kind of um, putting aside, it's getting rid of all the racial undertones. But what you have to remember is that love is between two individuals. It's not between a race of people. So whereas the, 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 the couple, in this case, Harry and Meghan, are in love, they've seen across the racial lines and they decided to get married and have a baby. That doesn't apply to the majority of people. People don't see it. I mean, there's no way they're talking about is he the new um, black hope or the new white home hope? Is he going to be like Barack Obama? It's a child for Christ. Sorry, it's a child for Christ's sake. Now, if, um, if adults, responsible adults, can't get rid of racism, can't reduce racism, how the hell is a child going to do that? He can't. You're asking too much. All he wants to do is live and be loved and to share his experiences with the world. He doesn't want the burden of everybody's issues and problems. Now, um, we all know that Danny Baker has been removed from the BBC because he put up a tweet um, depicting um, a couple, well-dressed couple, and a chimpanzee in a suit holding their hand with the caption, um, the royal couple have delivered their baby or something. I can't forget what he said. Anyway, I can't remember what he said, but some kind of cynical comment. And then he's going, oh, I'm surprised that it got the reaction it did. How can it not when you're comparing the child of a crown to a chimpanzee? Where is the respect? But you know what? What it shows is the dormant racism. Everybody was going, oh, yeah, all those people turned up. Oh, it's great that Harry has met Meghan and they're having this baby. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. But now the baby's here, all of a sudden, they feel threatened. They feel threatened because there is the possibility, although far removed, that blacks have got into the royal family. Even though it's 1%. By Jim Crow's rule, or the one drop rule, 1% makes a person black. So for all intents and purposes, regardless of the, the um, colour or race of Meghan or her grandmother, Archie, what's his name, the beautiful name he's got? Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor is black. And that is what they don't like because what it's done, it's forced them to address all of their biases and all of these cynical remarks that people are making. I've never seen so many pictures of a couple or Meghan and Harry with cutouts of a black face attached to it. Why the preoccupation with this race of the baby? Why can't you like every other person who has a baby say congratulations? What a lovely baby. 
I'm so happy that it was born safely. I'm so glad you had a safe delivery. Why the preoccupation about its race? And you know what's pertinent? The fact that we're in Brexit and Brexit and the hostile environment is actually denouncing immigrants. And for all intents and purposes, immigrants are anybody with colour, of colour. So what they've done now, they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. Harry has put the, um, the chicken amongst the pigeons and all hell is breaking loose because people cannot contain their bias. All this polite charade or charade or whichever um, emphasis you want to give it is all come to the fore. Just because Meghan and Harry have a baby. But I'm kind of glad, you know, because it just shows you, because some people, you can't, they can't hide it. They can't help it. They really cannot help it. They fear anyone who doesn't look like themselves. And they seem to see it as a threat. I mean, we had, um, when you think about royalty, it's always, well, it's debatable. It was black at one time, way, way back. But for a long time, it has been white in the UK. And the thought of a black person permeating that pure, white, European, coveted uh, arena is too much for some of them to bear. And all of a sudden, the hostility is coming out. Then they're talking about they're going to ship him off to Africa under the guise of some kind of coveted job he's supposed to be taking. But really, it's just to get them out of the way. That's what it's really about. And then Harry can be in Africa and he can reign supreme. But he's not that type, I don't believe. So it's not going to make no difference. I mean, the locals will probably see him as supreme. But Harry is quite a humble guy. So he will just go down there and do the job. But they'll probably pay him off and tell them to get out of our sights. They can't do it publicly because publicly they have to be seen as doing the right thing. This is just my opinion. I mean, based on what we're reading, I mean, CNN News, um, The Express, it's everywhere. Washington Post, Washington. I'm surprised America's latched onto this so big. But there's a lot of talk about all of this going on, and I'm putting it in the links. So these aren't my opinions. These are, this is are the opinions of others. In this particular case, I'm injecting a few of my points, but the majority of it is already being said. Um, what else was I got to, to? What else was I going to say? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, they were talking about repeating, repeating, repeating. He's seventh in line. Then they were giving down all of the um, the heirs and they were saying, oh, there's no way he could ever be king. I mean, it's almost like they're so relieved he'll never be king. You know what I mean? Why have to go to that extent? Why have to keep rubbing it in? Why can't you just allow the couple to enjoy their baby? The baby's just a couple of days old and already the tweets, there's such a lot of nastiness going on. It's so unfortunate. Why would that child want to grow up in a world like this? Why would he? And the parents, I mean, you should be showing respect to the crown. Harry, whether you agree with them or not, he is royalty. And show respect. You can't just, just because there's a black, um, the possibility of this little black child entering into the kingdom, you're going crazy. It's just not right and it's not worth it. You need to get a grip, people. You really do, because the child isn't going to do you any harm. It's a baby. And yes, it will grow up into a man. And by the looking, the looks of Meghan, it will grow up into a, almost a white looking man, even fairer than Obama. So I don't know what you what you're worried about. I don't it, it, you know, this racism goes so deep 
The fear goes so deep that even the possibility of one ounce of black blood entering into the royal kingdom is scary. Can you imagine? Supposing it was a full-blooded black African from goodness knows where else. What would you do then? You'd probably bloody, I don't know what you would do. Anyway, I think um, that's all for now. Um, I think I've covered most things. Um, there's something I wanted to say. I wanted to read out this because this was sent to me. I think what is most revealing is that implicit racial bias, hatred and injustice, which normatively resides in the shadows and has been difficult to attribute blame to in the past, ruining the lives of many people of colour and stunting their progress has now come out into the open. So, what can we say? I just wanted to end it on that note and I'm going to repeat this poem. Harry and Meghan, what have you done? You have brought out the racism because of your son. I would have thought that because he's of royal blood, he would have been awarded the respect like a royal should. But this child of the crown gets no respect, no adoration, because he is black. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.